You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Andrew Tate, you up to bat. Bye. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. The kids to be free in 2023. Kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another Andrew Tate video. Y'all definitely was telling me to check into the motivational bag of Andrew Tate. So we here. We got Don't Quit. Let's go ahead and see what he's talking about, man. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. I can never be depressed if I never slow down. Okay. Speed is extremely important. Speed defies gravity. How do how does a plane fly through the air and defy gravity? Speed. It's moving too fast to fall. Mm. If you're always attacking life, if you're always doing things, if you're always making more money, if you're always traveling the world, doing this, doing that, new car, here, there, new podcast, meeting James English, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you know, if you're always doing things all the time, unhappiness can't catch you. But I also know that speed is a is a fantastic way to be happy all the time i'm always looking forward i'm always looking forward to something that's real i wake up every day excited i'll go do this today i'll go do this today. that's real. Go do this today and i very much live my life in a frame of no I, I have to do this it's very much a, i get to do this that's major not i have to do but i get to do once you start changing those words man and you start really changing them the small words it start changing the perspective on how you see things and your appreciation and your gratitude started to change. Your whole perception started to change. Just change them words, I swear, that is very true. There's another thing that a lot of people make a mistake with when I talk to them, like, ah, oh, I have to go to work today. Change your language. What'd I just say? I get to go to work today. Imagine you had no job. It'd be worse, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be working. So you get to go to work. Oh, I have to fix the car. At least you have a car. Right. You get to fix your car. Right. Most people don't got one. Oh, I have to go get the kids. You get to go get the kids because you have these beautiful children who love you. Right. You understand? People's even their own language is wrong. I told you. It, the world is can be framed. Maybe I'm completely crazy. Maybe I'm full of shit. Like you said. Maybe I am. But the frames I've installed in my mind are all beneficial to me. Mm. So if that makes me crazy and full of shit, good. <laughs> because I can't become depressed. So you can sit there and tell me I'm full of shit while you're depressed and I'm happy. And I would never want to adopt the thinking of a depressed person. <laughs> People will, people will shield laziness with anything. No one wants to admit they're lazy. Mm. So they'll shield it with disbelief. Ah, oh, that's a scam. Or, I don't work hard, I work smart. Bollocks. More, more cover. For just, anything it takes to say, Do you I don't want to work. Do you believe in that? Work smart or not harder? I believe in both. Yeah, that's real. But there's a time when it comes to work smart. And most people are trying to do the smart work before they do the hard work. Mm. It's kind of like talent. Right? You don't notice if you're talented at something until all the hard work's done. Yep. I could be the most talented tennis player in the world, but I don't play tennis. So if I go down the tennis court, Joe Schmo is going to smoke me. I don't get to see That's my real. talent until I've worked so hard that I'm in the top 1%, and now I'm beating them because I have some God given gift. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do the hard work first. Mm. If there's no hard work, there's no smart work. So someone's going to sit there and go, I work smart, I don't work hard, so I only have to work an hour a day. If working smart, gets you a lot done in an hour a day then you should work smart for 12 hours a day and yeah. get 12 times the work done I, I am absolutely and utterly a believer in hard work mm -hmm. i'm a proponent of hard work i have all this money and all i do is work my entire life is work this podcast is work i'm getting the car i'm going to another meeting work i want to go to the gym so i'm in good shape work it's all work my entire life is work and people don't want to look at life that way they want to talk about work life balance also yeah work life balance what are you talking about i believe in you gotta rest too I believe you got to work hard and go extremely hard, but I believe too, you got to allow yourself time to rest and rejuvenate. Like you keep working and working and working, you're going to work yourself into the ground. Like what are you working for? And once you accomplish all these things to just keep working harder, to keep, keep working. That's not my, that's not what I want out of life. Work hard. Then after that, no, during that rest, you know what I'm saying? Work and rest. Both of those things, it should be a balance in life. I feel 
It shouldn't just be no overkill and just working. I, I just don't. That's just not me. Balance and being lazy and all this crap. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in if you want to win, you have to outcompete the man who's prepared to do nothing but work. It's player versus player. If you're going to sit there and go, I don't want to work more than an hour a day, well, the guy who does want to work more than an hour a day is going to beat you. And no matter how smart you are, there's always a smart dude who's doing the same smart work you are for more hours than you're doing it. That's just the nature of the game. It's the way that humans work and the way that we are, we've evolved as a species is that we don't really learn lessons unless they're learned the hard way. Yeah. I believe that unless a lesson is true. taught the hard way, you're not going to learn it. That's not you true. can have so many near misses and people won't learn their lesson. Bro, you must know a guy who goes out there, nearly crashes his car, nearly crashes his car, nearly crashes his car, doesn't slow his ass down till he wrecks it. Yeah. Like, this is how people are, right? So you need that pain for the lesson to sting enough to really genuinely go inside of your mind. And it's the same with everything. It's the same with driving a car or business. Truthfully, if you want to learn a lesson about business, you're going to have to suffer at some point, right? So we always say that most people are not successful with their first companies, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I get that. The truth is there's a lot of people who make a lot of money with their first company, but they just spunk it, act an idiot, and it all blows up in their face. And that's the, and that's how you get the discipline on your fourth company that when you have three million in the bank, you just leave it there. You know, it's, yeah. and don't, and don't be dumb with it. So you need to, you need to go through some pain. You need to experience some negative things. You need to have to, uh, to a degree some trauma to really even learn any lessons. So yeah, business studies, you're right. The book, that's, that's not going to teach you anything about business. You need to get out there on the streets. You need to, you need to make mistakes. You need to suffer. You need to have the tax man knocking at your door. You got to deal with all that stuff so that you make sure it doesn't happen again. I really think that, that humans are stupid enough to only learn the hard way. That's and, and life really doesn't have to be that complicated. When you see somebody that has something you want, you just got to try and work out how they got it. Yeah. And that's the missing part. Most people see people with things they want and they don't do the, the second half. They don't try and work out how they got that thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my man has a Ferrari. Okay. I wish I had a Ferrari. Okay. They don't sit there and go <laughs> for an hour. How did he get a Ferrari? It doesn't cross that. That part is the part they don't want to do, right? They just go, oh, he has a Ferrari. Wish I had a Ferrari. And they go back to TV. Yeah. And that's why they lose. It's player versus player out here, man. It's on the street. It's not easy. For every dollar you make, for every pound you take, you took it from someone else. You don't make money. You take money. People don't understand the way that money works. You're not the Federal Reserve. You can't create money from thin air. Every single pound in your bank is money you took from someone else. And when I say take, I don't mean it in a negative way. You might have convinced them to give it to you. You might have a coffee shop. I'll give you a nice coffee. You'll give me some money. Cool. But you still took his money, yeah. right? So if you're out here trying to take stuff from other people, don't you want to have a team? <laughs> you want to do it by yourself? You want to be Rambo? Because you I mean, get two of you doing it. You get two of you. you. That's right. So the whole idea of this lone soldier, this Rambo, I'll do it all by myself. That's real. That's all dead, bro. You need to have a team. That's player versus player. And for the same reason, if you were out here on the street and you wanted to defend yourself, you want your boys around you. It's the same thing with trying to get rich. And you're laughing with your boys. Yeah. The broking days are great. And I'm not complaining about being rich. Obviously, I worked hard for this and it's, and it's a fantastic life I live now. But I think without those brokey days, without those original mm -hmm. days to compare it to, without that juxtaposition, then I don't think being rich would be fun at all. I think it's only fun because you can compare it to the days when you weren't rich. That's real. It's the only thing that makes it fun. The only thing that makes a $10,000 stake fun is that you can laugh saying how you never had 10 grand in your bank till you were 27 years old. Yeah. Like that's the, otherwise it's boring. Otherwise you okay, stake. And I think if you're born with too much money that you'll never truly be happy. I think you need the broken days so are the best days. The best yeah. days. All right, that was Andrew Tate, don't quit. I don't agree with that last part saying like, if you was born with too much money, I don't think you'll ever be happy because you need those brokey days. I don't think happiness revolves around money, at least not for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so maybe if that's what you doing and you, you know, the whole money thing is just like your thing for you, but then that's gonna be a tough one because money come and go, you know what I'm saying? So. But I, th I definitely think of some things that he said in there that was real. You definitely need your team. You definitely want to make sure that you have a team around you that's strong and that y'all can go get those things together. You know what I'm saying? And it's better to have success with people instead of just being by yourself. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely some things in there that he was saying that was real, especially when he was talking about changing your language and changing how you speak about certain things. That's definitely important. And that's definitely something that I implement in my life and been doing it for a few years now. with just making sure I change the way I speak. Making sure that I'm more positive about my speech and not just, you know, condescending or negative about it. And also just keeping an optimistic and, you know, uh, mindset towards the things that I want out of life and towards myself. A lot of people got to start there. Start speaking more positively over yourself. 
you know, start having more optimistic thoughts about how you can achieve things and how you can be successful, and how you can reach the goals that you want to reach out of your life. Start thinking more positively and start speaking those things over yourself. It starts with your language. But you already know what you got to do, man. Let me know in the comments below. Do y'all want me to check out more? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Hey.